Hi guys and welcome to this tips and tricks tutorial. I will show you how to add rhinestones on a garment as a top stitch and as a button. I will explain step by step with a basic t-shirt, an image, for example a star, how easy you can add a line of rhinestones by our great top stitch function. I already uploaded the garment and image onto my workspace. First step, I will draw the outline from my star shape with the polygon tool and unfold the traced shape to have it symmetric. After this is done, I select the shape and clone as internal shape, which I can now place onto my pattern. For this tutorial, I will place it in the front. Of course, you can still adjust or modify the position now or afterwards. As soon as you have set down your internal shape, you can now delete the star pattern. The second step will be to create your rhinestone top stitch. For this you can go into the object browser under the folder top stitch and copy the existing default top stitch. With double click on the text field you can change the title. Afterwards I will change in the property editor the offsets on zero and go to specification to shape and click on the plus where I can change the shape of my top stitch. A pop-up window shows up where you can add your rhinestone OBG. The specific OBG you can find via Closet Connect and download it. Or even make your own rhinestone OBG, for example with Blender. You directly see an example picture how your top stitch will look like and adjust the size or shape between each stone. Clicking on OK you completed the adding and now you can change the material type to gem. With the change your top stitch becomes the opticals of a rhinestone. Also, if you scroll down, you can change the color, adjust the optical and the reflection. You can try out and set it in the way you like it best. I prefer to set the reflection roughness to 20 and also change the reflection of the Abbey number. The Abbey number indicates the degree of light dispersion. Higher Abbey numbers mean lower dispersion, reduce chromatic aberration and higher visual quality of the gem. The next step will be to add the top stitch with our free top stitch tool on the internal line. And by zooming onto my 3D window, you will see the rhinestones on top of the garment. For also a better look how great the rhinestone looks, you can check with our render by just going into our interactive render setting and scrolling into the top stitch. By moving and rotating, you can see how the light breaks into the stone and reflects back. Going further on, I would now like to add more rhinestone stars to my garment. By just copying and pasting with the transform pattern tool, you can place inside the pattern the star. You can scale or rotate and create multiple designs. Next to that, you can also add more lines into your star. By just selecting your shape and clicking with the right mouse and select offset as internal line. Directly a pop-up window appears and you can modify new lines and you can see directly the changes. For now I will add just one line with a specific measurement and add my rhinestone top stitch on top. Afterwards I would love to change the color by just copying the rhinestone top stitch and changing in the property editor the color and then signing with the edit top stitch tool to the top stitch in the 2D window. We have easily have changed our rhinestone color. Also here by just going into the render program you can check how the color will approximately look on the finished rendered project. On this topic I will show you how to create a rhinestone as a button with the object file. This gives you the possibility to position a single stone very flexible and free. First I will go to the object browser to my button tile and copy my default button. Afterwards I jump into the property editor where I can select the shape of the button and click on the plus next to the library selection. Next a pop-up window shows up where I can now add the desired shape I want. By giving the new button a name, adding an image and also the object file in the lower part, you quickly can create your desired shape as a button. Also you can adjust measurements by typing in. By clicking on OK you have registered the new button into your library. In the object browser and property editor you can already see that the shape here, the rhinestone, is activated. The next step would be to change the material to gem, which only gets active by the render. Scrolling down the property editor, you can change the color 
and adjust the reflection or refraction as light. Now let's add the rhinestone to our garment. By just going into the 3D tool button, you can easily click on the 2D window on your pattern and place the rhinestone. You directly can see the placement on your 3D window. You can see how easy and creative you can be with this tool and how flexible you can work with it. Next to this, you can also change the category of the button to trim and classify it as rhinestone. With these two clicks, the software now knows it's a rhinestone, which helps a lot with the settings of your bill of materials. After creating your rhinestone image with the needed positions and updates, you can now dive into rendering and check out how the rhinestones will look on your finished garment. With just these two tools, you can be really creative and develop your own rhinestone designs with Clo. And through rendering, the rhinestones get their full reflection power and visual full effect. On this note, thanks for watching this tutorial. And for more tutorials about other topics, subscribe to our channel.